dehorning and debudding cows and calves. The tools used in this video are debudder shears, ear notcher, gas debudder, long handle dehorning shears, wound spray, nose tongs. Cattle with horns can hurt people and other animals, sometimes seriously. Farmers try to protect animals and people by preventing horn growth by removing the horn buds when the calf is still young. Debudding and dehorning is painful, so pain relief is essential. The difference between dehorning and disbudding is that quite a number of calves are born with horn buds and the correct term for removal of these is debudding. When the calves grow old the cow's horns fuse to the skull. Due to this fusion with the skull, the horns are no longer freely movable and require amputation. This is called dehorning. Dehorning is only performed when the horns may cause injury to the cow, since it is a difficult and painful process for the animal. It is always better for breeders to disbud their animals while young. This is a time when very little pain and discomfort is caused to the animal and when the process is quick and easy. The reason dehorning is normally recommend for young calves is to reduce the risk of injury and bruising to herd mates. It is also advisable to prevent financial losses from trimming damaged carcasses caused by horned feedlot cattle during transport to slaughter. It is also a fact that dehorned animals require less space at the feed bunk and during transit. Horns can be removed from calves while the horn is still in the bud stage, or by method of amputation in older animals. The best method of removing horns in cattle is debudding at the earliest possible age. Due to the fact that adult horns are live bone, Broken horns will bleed and animal care specialists keep a close eye on animals that have recently broken their horns to make sure the bleeding does stop and other complications don't develop. Removing horns from older cattle, yearlings and adults is time-consuming, painful for the animal and increases the chances of a setback. It is not recommended to dehorn animals over 12 months of age unless undertaken by a veterinarian. In cattle, the horn's sheath karate, forms a conical shell which covers a horn core which is bone attached to the skull. The karate sheath of cattle horn is hollow on the inside once separated from the skull. However, several methods can be used to dehorn large cattle if necessary, including large gouges, keystone or guillotine dehorners, hand saws, or obstetric wire. Tipping involves cutting a portion of the horn off an older animal, but not completely removing the horn. When a cow is dehorned, her horns, and the sensitive tissue near her skull are cut, sawn or scraped off. Whenever dehorning of debudding is done the location of the bud on the head should be seared with a hot instrument like a gas debud to prevent ray growth of the horn. Please do not forget to subscribe and like. Also please hit the bell below.